Hey, in this screencast, I'll teach you how to justify and align the items on the grid. So here we have our classic website layout. It contains 12 columns in the width, each are one fraction unit and three rows, where the second one is auto. So this grid is responsive in both width and height, as you can see. We have defined the width of each of the items using the grid column value. So for the header, for example, we're saying start at the first column line, which is this one, and end at the last one, which is this one over on the right hand side. So it's kind of stretching from the start point to the end point. And this axis here, the row axis is the one you control with justification. So if we do, so if we do justify items, That'll be by default set to stretch. However, if we, for example, want each of the items to rather center itself as much as possible and not stretch all the way from the left hand side to the right hand side, we can use center. And as you can see, now each of the items are centered at as much as possible. You can also use start. That'll squeeze all of them towards the left hand side. And end is the opposite of this. That'll squeeze all the items to the right hand side. Now, let's comment out this a little bit and use the align items property. That'll do the same thing, though, along the column axis. So the vertical axis from top to bottom. So if we do center here, you can see that each of the items are now squeezed together towards the center, though not on the left to right row axis, but on the top to bottom column axis. We can do end. That'll squeeze all of them to the bottom or start. That'll squeeze them towards the top. Now let's do center again and combine this with center here. Now all the items, just a tiny rectangle in the center of the grid cells, which had originally occupied fully. Now I have no idea why you'd want to create a website layout like this. It's really weird, but that's besides the point of this screencast. Finally, let's finally let's comment out these two, get back to the original layout, and look at how you can do the same thing, though only targeting one of the items. Let's head into the content, for example. Then you can use justify self and do center. And now only the content is centered. Do align self as well and do end. And now the content is squeezed down to this tiny little box in the bottom center of the huge space it originally occupied. A little bit sad, actually, to see the content, to see the content being turned into a shadow of itself like that. So let's give it back its original space like that. Okay, so that was it. I hope you learned something and feel free to play around with this yourself. Thank you.